hi guys welcome to my channel my name is decima and today we're gonna do the fifth and final video in my series using the same palette different colors and doing the same look on two different eyes if you want to see what look i achieved today then keep on watching As usual, I always base my lid with my pillow with base. I feel like today's look is gonna be a little bit hard since I'm only using glitters. Those are not my strongest suit, just to. So we will see. Actually, I think I'm gonna use some eyeshadow guides because I'm really gonna use just one color. Fingers crossed that it doesn't make a mess. Okay, and let's go. I'm just taking a concealer brush from Morphe. That's an M173. I'm just gonna tap that in. These videos have actually been fun doing. I hope you guys enjoy them. I'm kind of thinking of another series, but we will see. Usually, I do not set my primer, but I feel like I, I need to set it because if I don't, see, so I feel like I'm gonna run into some problems. But since that's going to defeat the purpose of just using one palette, I'm going to actually use my bronzer. Actually, I'm just going to use my Kat Von D palettes. Let's go ahead and use the middle shade right here. This is pretty much my complexion. And I'm using a Morphe M518. I do that look too when I'm rushing and so I just do my brows. I run my bronzer all over and I put some lashes on and I'm ready to go easy peasy but today i'm only doing that just to prevent any kind of creasing and you could have also done that with your powder that you used to set your face but this is just to set that primer and today i'm actually gonna use this palette it's not really a palette but it is kind of because this all these shades you just buy these shades of individual shade and then you can put them in a z palette I got the Z palette from Amazon. It was like pretty inexpensive. And these eyeshadows are from this company. I think she like JD Glow. And I think she's based out of Louisiana. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. So I'm gonna do so I'm gonna just do one color on each eye. So I'm gonna do this color right here. I'm gonna do on this eye, and I'm gonna do this color on this eye. To do that, I'm gonna use a flat brush from makeup check and we're gonna start with that blue shade on this eye i'm sure it's gonna have like a lot of fallout so again this is one of the looks you may want to do with like with before your face so this look may look dramatic but it's so easy since it's we're just really doing just one eyeshadow and i'm just gonna put a little bit of you know a little something to make it pop a little bit and I'm just gonna clean that up with a wipe see how easy this is like it's so easy I think I might bring it up a little bit more but let's go ahead and do this eye and then I'll see how it looks I pretty much love all the shadows I get from them like all of them I think I'm gonna go back to this eye let's do something else to it let's move it a little bit higher because I feel like I stopped kind of lower on this eye and that could be because they're two different shapes but for the eyeshadow part of it done and for my liner i'm gonna go ahead and use my colourpop liner it's just a wrong liner this one is the white i will not use in the white voila black liner here we go oh i kind of moved my liner a little bit too hard it's like nothing is working today I'm gonna go back to that green and let's go ahead and move to that second eye I feel like this is the only time I can actually just do a wing with no issues is when I have those guards on and let's take that off okay let's move to the eye or the face I'm gonna go ahead and put my super goop sample eye cream i actually just ordered the actual full size 
And this is really good, a really good eye cream because there's SPF 40 in it. I feel like most of this stuff has SPF 40. This is gonna be another mess when we go to that lower lash. I can already tell. I can already tell because it's gonna be cleaner. Let's go ahead and moisturize the face. For my moisturizer, I use two of these together. And I just do one pump of each. My face has never been happy. Been breaking out like crazy. And for actually, let's go ahead and put some more SPF on the face. I put a little bit under the eye, but we don't want to ignore the face. And I just put like a little bit like so, kind of rub it together. And for my primer, I'm going to use this all-in-one primer from the Body Shop. It's called the Instable. I actually like this primer. And it just kind of come up like so. Just kind of rub it in. For the most part, I kind of concentrate my primer like, kind of in my T-zone area. Because that's where I have problems with my foundation. My smile lines, like here. On my nose. And then right here. And for my foundation, since you know we have a lot to cover, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead with some glitter. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Beyond Perfecting foundation from Clinique. And my shade is WN82. Like I need coverage over coverage over coverage. Like. And to blend that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my 732 ear brush powder, um, foundation brush, sorry, from Loxy. It's like really good match. I'm gonna make sure you bring that down to your neck so everything just kind of flows seamlessly. I feel like it just looks so heavy and cakey. I'm actually gonna go ahead and I'm um, just spray some of this on my face. This is just my prep and prime from Mac. I just put a little bit, nothing crazy. I feel like my face look really dry and the foundation was kind of settling in some dry areas on my face so just spraying it with the primer water just kind of like let the foundation be a little bit more wet and then you can just mop it still feel like this one could have gone up a little bit more we'll see maybe it's just a figment of my imagination we'll see though i am just a figment of your imagination i might move it up a little bit more before I go in with my concealer because when I go in with that concealer, I don't want to be messing with any eyeshadow. Ah, oh, perfect. Well, I'm not sure if it's perfect, but that's how it's gonna stay. <laughs> concealer, concealer, concealer. Let's go ahead and use, well, I'm going all heavy and just like, I'm using my deep tan sand from Shape Tip or Tarte. This is so close to my complexion. I could use this as a foundation, maybe. This is actually not my favorite concealer. It's so dry. For me, it could work amazing for somebody else, but I do have dry on the eyes, so that could be why. But the coverage is amazing. I feel like I need something just a little bit lighter. Just, just a teeny bit. I actually have another, um, this one is in 10, so I'm just going to put just a little, little bit like here, like so, just to get a little bit of brightening. And I kind of lost my pot, my foundation brush. Oh, nope, found it. And to set my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and use my Beauty Bakery powder, and this is in cassava or yellow, it's the same thing. And to apply that, I'm just using an M436. Nope, M536 for Morphe. I don't bake under my eye because, as I said, under my eye is very dry. That's why I don't like this shape tip. You can already see, like, it's those like crazy things, like right here. So I try to stay away from that. And I know it's not a powder because it doesn't do that to powder concealers. So. And to set my face, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora and I'm in shade 30. I concentrate most of the powder like right here because that's where I'm gonna put it, my bronzer. But for the rest of my face, I don't I put so much on there. 
and let's go ahead and put some mascara on for my mascara i'm gonna use the this is actually from laura mercier and it is just the um, it's called caviar caviar volume i guess i don't put mascara on for what it does to my lashes in volumizing or lengthening none no mascara that i use do anything like that for my lashes my lashes are light brown kind of like my hair color so i just and since the forces that i use are dark i just put it on just so it's like dark so when i put my forces on it's just one thing but other than that i could do without it because it does nothing for my lashes and it's not the mascara fault i just have no lashes and I'm going to go ahead and use these lashes. They actually, they are called Dubai from Makeup Shack. Those are my favorite lashes. Favorite, favorite lashes. And for my lash glue, I just use this Kiss Lash Glue in clear. And let's put that to dry. And fingers crossed that I don't forget it because I usually do. Not because I want to. Because I got, you know, all involved in talking and doing other things. I forget which is annoying because then I have to open more glue and then I have to wait, which is annoying. I'm just gonna use this flat brush from Sephora and let's go ahead and give this some color, some color. Actually, I'm gonna, on the one eye, I'm gonna do pink and on the other eye, I'm gonna do purple. I'm gonna switch to this color right here on this eye and I'm gonna do the purple on this one. Yep, that's the one that's gonna show up. I can already tell. I can already tell, but we're gonna do something else here because I can see a mess in my future with these glitters. I'm gonna put some powder right here and let's go ahead and tap some down here. I hate doing that because I don't like to bake, but but today we're gonna have to do that if I don't want just crazy amount of fallout. Okay, let's clean this one, the brush up and let's go to the purple. Okay, we're gonna go to Pluto under here. I do have some fallout on there, but I'm not too worried about that since I put the powder, so it's just gonna stay on there. And I can just dust it off when I'm done. Let's leave that just like that for a second and let's go apply my lashes because i can see they're drying and we don't want that we can just leave that as is and let's go to some eyeliner i'm gonna go ahead and put this pink color here and i'm gonna put this purple color here and this is vice and this is woodstock oh and there's a from urban decay 24 7 glide on pencils and that's done and we're gonna go ahead and do this one over here i usually don't do color like liner but for my bottom on my waterline i'm fine with that on my lash line though we go black or dark brown i do color but really okay and then we're gonna take a morphe m506 and i'm just gonna blend this in i feel like these colors perfect for the lower lash line because they for some reason they can blend this i can really blend it just kind of up, just put it there but this seems to be blending pretty well so that's good and i'm just gonna clean my brush a little bit and then i'm just gonna go to this eye and that's it let's go ahead and dust off the powder that we had right here and let's go ahead and bronze the face. To bronze my face, I'm just gonna use my Kat Von D palette. I use these two shades. I feel like this shade by itself is kind of too dark for me, like right here, so I just blend this together. I'm not even, this is kind of old, so I'm not sure if they still carry this. Maybe I should have checked that before I use it. And I'm gonna use a Real Technique sponge. It's just, you know, a flat head kind of sponge. And I'm gonna go to this color right here, which is the middle color, it's just a yellow kind of banana color. And for my blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use this blush right here from Patrick Ta. And then this shade is in She's Adorable. Can I just bring this to join my bronzer right here? Actually, let's go ahead and use this highlighter. It's uh, 
from Lancome and then this color is 03 Radiance and it's the rose gold color actually I'm gonna go ahead and use it kind of sucks that you can't get this in the US I think it's um, it's called Chambord and you can only get it from Switzerland and India and I have a friend that travels to India and then she brings it back to me and then this color is actually this is shade 483 I love this I try not to use it too much because you know you can't find it in the US but I love it and I feel like this is the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried and it's so pigmented and I only have to put this one time or when I pull it out that's it that's all I need and we're almost done here so I'm gonna go in with this brush right here this is a Morphe M16 just a really small tiny itty bitty brush and I'm gonna wet it how I always do I don't wet it with um, any setting spray or face spray I wet it with a wipe I'm gonna go back to my palette that I have and I'm gonna switch things up a little bit since this eye is green I'm gonna go ahead and put this color in the inner corners of this eye and I'm gonna put this color which is the pink in this eye. so and I'm gonna go ahead and go to that pink color and I'm gonna put this here going all the way in my eye no bueno and so that we don't forget let's go ahead and dust off that extra powder and I'm gonna move that up to the perimeter to make sure everything just is flawless I feel like this is just looks real sharp let's go ahead and fix that up I'm gonna take my powder much better And let's go ahead and set the face. I'm using my Skin Denivia, and then this one is the bridal one. Nice, and this is the final look. Same look on each eye, using the same palette, but using different colors. It was a fun series to do. Next series, maybe I won't do five days. I'm thinking maybe just two day, um, three days, sorry, for the next series. And that's it for now, guys. See you on my next video, bye.